For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Bridget and I'm here today to bust the myth. Are throttle controllers truly worth it? If you guys are like me, surely you've seen online that there's such a difference of opinion about throttle controllers. People saying that you don't need one, just drive your car properly. But I can promise you that's not the case. So I've come here today to be able to test both driving my car fully factory and driving my car with the assistance of my throttle controller. We've got some rock steps, we've got a little bit of loose shaley ground and it has been raining a little bit on and off today as well. So we're gonna get a good gauge in how much does it, if it does, gain you anything. And I might also drop some clips in as well of some scenes of this car doing Fraser because it gives you a really good understanding in two different environments what the throttle controller can do for you in wheeling circumstances. It is raining. The conditions are 100% exactly what you don't want. Um, the ground is a bit loose, it's pretty slippery, it's raining and I've got a little bit of a small rock wall in front of me that I'm going to try to get up. Now this car is pretty heavy and it's not locked so the only chance that the Hilux has actually really got to get up it is I want to reduce the power down as much as possible. I don't want heaps of throttle sensitivity because I know I'm just going to slip. It wants to do that anyway in these sort of conditions. So I've got it dialed right down to one. I wouldn't turn it off because a little bit of power or a little bit of throttle control I still need. I don't want the lag but um, I don't want it to be really really slippy. So I think that one maybe even two is probably the best setting for the car right now. We'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, I might bump it up a little bit, but I'm not going any higher than four um, because I know how this car performs with and without a throttle controller. Um, and in this case, I think that putting it on U2, I think we'll go U2. I think we're gonna have some success. Just gonna put the front wheels up to it. Perfect. That was exactly what I needed it to do. It was just enough to keep going. It wanted to slip because I do have a little bit of a little bit of power being injected into it, but not enough to, for it to just completely lose um, any traction that I've got. So just a little bit of a bump of the throttle to get it to just pop up that last little bit. Um, that is the the most ideal outcome. I'm really happy with that. All right. I'm just going to put the car where I want it and. I'm going to turn my throttle controller off. I'm going to run the car to factory. I want to prove a bit of a point. Now, I know exactly how this is going to go. We're completely off. So, because this thing is heavy um, and because it is, it's a laggy car. Look, it's tuned. It's not tuned a whole lot. So, it's very laggy and it's heavy. Um, not having any option of lockers. If this thing lags at all, Especially once I've got the wheels where it needs, once I've, I've got the front wheels up the first step, but it's trying to get up the second step with the back wheels trying to pop up the first step and I get into that really awkward position where I actually need to bump it a bit. I can pretty much promise you it won't be able to bump and I actually think that it's just going to stall on the spot. So we're going to run it fully factory and um, see how this goes. I'm exactly where I was before. I'm coming up to the wall. So, I'm happy it made it, but what it feels like to me is that I can have, I, I have to have less mechanical sympathy. I had to really feed it because it was either that or it was going to stall. Um, the car was flicking up mud, flicking up rocks, trying to give it a go, but that was because my foot was to the floor. I, the first time, I can promise you my foot was not to the floor. I was just giving a little bit of a tap and being super conservative because I knew it had it. Whereas doing it that time, it didn't feel like that the car had it. I didn't feel like that it was had enough almost juice behind me to get me going. And once I was really arsed down and at the most vulnerable point, I'm super heavy, I don't have any lockers. I didn't feel like it was gonna make it. To be completely honest, I actually feel like the car was going to stall and I don't want it to stall in that awkward position. So I really had to drive it. Um, and it doesn't need to be that way. This car, just with a little bit of assistance, um, you can actually be a lot easier on your equipment when you do have something simple like a throttle controller because then you're not having to feed it and spin your wheels 
and sort of boot the car around. Um, I think that shows, well, I mean, I know that shows really clearly that just ultimate two, just putting it up to two was enough that I could be consistent on the throttle, give it a little bit of a tap and it it did exactly what it was supposed to do rather than having to drive the car super hard which I'm not the biggest fan of and I like to do things um, as gentle on my gear as possible so my throttle controller I can tell you really means for an even powered drive and probably saves me a lot of bouncing around a lot of bumping and a lot of wear and tear on the car that I want to take care of so you've probably seen the blanket statement that's all over the internet do throttle controllers actually give you more power no they don't there is no way that they can the way a throttle controller works is it changes the throttle curve in your car I'll put a couple of graphs on the screen so you can see what I mean whether it's dialing it for driving on sand driving on gravel or rock crawling you can change your throttle controller and it's going to change the curve that you're going to get trial number two I found some perfect less than ideal flat shale rock and it's still sort of drizzling so I'm gonna put the car into the wheel ruts it's just very glossy and glazed so I imagine that the car is gonna be very slippy and the best option that I've got is to be consistent on the throttle with just enough power definitely no lag um, but not too much power because this is just absolute slick terrain so I'll put it into ultimate two I really do like two for this car um, especially for stuff like this and I should be able to be just really really consistent and just keep asking the car to get up it and it and it with any luck <laughs> competitive by nature and that really annoys me that um, she couldn't get up it I'm not gonna lie to you guys it probably shouldn't have made it even as close as making it as what it did I really hope that you can see that as I was progressing through the shale and the ruts and the situation and getting more and more and more on an angle the car was super consistent and I was able to just keep asking it and asking it and asking it. I did not feed the car once to get it to the point where it was not able to not go at all. Um, as you guys can see, I do have my canopy on today. Um, I'm on a trip and I'm fully loaded and I'm fully heavy. So not having my lockers makes a big difference, but I really mean it. If you guys can see what I can feel, that car made it through every difficult phase and every difficult slip and every difficult angle really consistently and really well. And I really wish that it made it up it to show you guys that my throttle controller was just that extra 15, 20% of what I needed to get that car to almost make it without having to go the full noise. Um, it, it felt really, really, really close. And I think in this circumstance, not having lockers has let me down, but having a throttle controller got me could I could taste it making it I was really confident in it at one point um, so <sighs> bugger I really wanted it to make it to prove a point but I think it does prove a point that throttle controller gave me the consistency and the uh, response that I needed for it to keep going being such a heavy car so here's an example I was on Fraser Island recently and I tried to drive Indian head with my throttle controller completely turned off Pretty sure I actually stalled the car and it didn't make it at all, but I'll show you. I'm gonna turn my throttle controller off, put my car 100% back to factory, and you're gonna see how much my laggy Hilux does struggle. Yeah, I guess it's time to test it out. I'm gonna jump in the passenger seat and uh, we'll see how bad this goes. Badly. So after that went clearly as I wanted it to, we went over to Nagala Rocks. It was a really hot day. You guys probably know that Nagala Rocks is infamous for soft sand and you gotta work really, really hard. So Bree jumped in the car with me. We ran it straight up to Ultimate Nine and I just hit it. And if anything, 
it one, the car performed perfectly, and two, it made all the noises and it was super fun. You guys know that it's typically very soft. It's a super hot day today, so it's extra soft today. And I'm gonna be dialing up my throttle to be able to show you that I can be able to push through the soft sand, hopefully, just using my throttle controller. It's not gonna give me extra power. It's just gonna give me the juice on the foot when I ask for it and when I need it most. Let's be honest, this probably isn't going to silence all of the internet trolls saying difference of opinions about throttle controllers, but I know for me, I will never take mine out of the car. It makes my life so much easier, and I actually feel like I'm saving my car by not beating it around as much as what I used to. So I hope that you guys have a little bit more understanding on what throttle controllers are, how they work in simple words. Like I said, I'm not an expert. If you guys want to see anything more, or you guys have any questions, or you're an internet troll and want to fight me on this one, Drop into the comments. I would love to do a follow-up video on this topic and see where the future takes me in this car in all of my adventures. Tell me that was good. It was so good. Okay. Yeah, that was great. I loved it. <laughs> I just I was like, that was a good. Me. That, that was a good ending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.